in my eyes, I would consider myself a pretty well-rounded athlete. I mean, I did two years of wrestling, and every day I've been trying to get some sort of workout in. However, today I attempted to do 1,000 push-ups in 100 minutes. Now, let me tell you how I got myself into this. Well, I just happened to stumble upon a video where this guy, Sam Milson, tried to beat his dad's push-up record of 1,000 push-ups in 100 minutes. And then I happened to also be in this guy's community, but he was challenging other people to try to beat his challenge in a way of getting more experience. And he also says he'll shout you out if you manage to complete his challenge, which did end up happening later on. And in my opinion, that's a long enough intro. Let's get into the action. just really hard to do the push-ups now it's really exhausting going into the first part of the challenge it did seem to be going pretty easy I was busting out sets of 25 and I'm with an astounding pace where I managed to keep three minutes spare ahead of the clock the way I had it set up I moved my keyboard down to the floor so I could put the numbers into a Google Doc and count them down for me and I would just add them up at the end I was really cocky going into this challenge, I was looking forward to beating it, and I had the question up in my head, could me, Wyatt Kowalski, beat the push-up record of some random guy on the internet? Now there's a much deeper reason behind why I'm doing this challenge. I don't really care about some random guy doing it, I don't really care about people knowing I did the challenge and posting on YouTube, although it does make a pretty killer thumbnail and video. <laughs> the real reason I'm doing this challenge is for part of the experience. The way you get ahead in life is by pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone by making yourself do hard challenges. Making yourself go on super far runs, 100 mile marathons like David Goggins. Pushing yourselves to do push up challenges, something where pain and risk are involved. Pain and risk have value intrinsically linked to them. The way we grow as people is when we accept that the thing is not necessarily going to be comfortable for us to do. But in the end, it grows us. Back in the day, I wasn't always a super motivated guy, you see, posting YouTube videos. I spent my day at home just playing video games like a regular person. I would waste my time on TikToks, mindlessly consuming content, unaware of what I was doing to my brain. But the following year, I've stumbled upon some YouTubers who have absolutely changed the way I go about my life. People posting general self-improvement tips, these people like Andrew Tate and Hamza, people like David Goggins and Joe Rogan, they pointed me in the direction of a different way of going about my life, which was accepting the pain and struggle of discipline. In return, allowing yourself to acquire things that not everybody has. They taught me about just making the discipline choices and putting your time towards stuff that's going to be better for your future self. Not necessarily always making the choice that's best for you in the moment. Not always seeking instant relief and hits of dopamine, but postponing that for something greater in the future. And I know it might not always be comfortable for myself to do something like these challenges, but in the end, I know it's going to be worth it. So about two thirds of the way, basically I gave up on myself. I realized I was falling far behind the timer. My muscles hurt. I couldn't keep up anymore. I just didn't feel like going. I felt like quitting the push-up challenge, but instead I opted for a better way of going about things. I just want to see how many push-ups I could do in 100 minutes. I wanted to set a personal record, which I could later beat. See how far I could push myself. I just want to see what was my limit on this challenge. So I kept on firing with the push-ups. The final result came out to around 794 push-ups, which admittedly was not the record I was shooting for, but I did set a new record. 794 is my new record for the amount of push-ups in a day. The previous record was 500, which I recorded for a different video. But anyways, there's a saying that goes, you learn more from your failures than you do from your wins. This is another failure, but I will take it with pride and I will continue pushing on. In the end, I did not complete the challenge. And
and I'm utterly heartbroken. But this is not the end of the challenge. I said at the end of the video, at the end of my challenge, I said to myself and the camera <laughs> that I was going to reattempt this challenge in two months. I'm going to continue with my regular exercise routine. But until two months, I want to see you guys trying to complete this challenge. You have two months until I try to reattempt it, and I want to see you guys try to beat it before me. If you send me a video of you doing the challenge and completing it, you have some sort of proof you actually did it, like a video, I will shout you out on my channel, and I will post your video or something, whatever you want. So I look forward to seeing you guys try to attempt this, if you take me up on the challenge. But that will be it for now. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.